stay inside here, Ulvold. The bristle... What do you want, Ulvold? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of hues. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Friol, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy, and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah. Greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my... saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well... Best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the Magistrate? Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Ah! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more! You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osirum lives! Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? <laughs> it's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work, while only the Karja reap the rewards! All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people, for the people! Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. If Chain Scrape is on Karja land, shouldn't a Karja be in charge? Who appointed you? The sensibilities of good Osram folk, of course! You think a Karja can head this whole venture? Ha! Ah! The Magistrate can barely make the trek from Baron Light without losing a few screws. So you have no real authority then? People only follow you because you say so. Loudly. Anyone who has followers has authority. I've been with Chain Scrape from the beginning. I mean, I'm practically its founder, and its honest folk know I'm indispensable to its success. Where's the whistle? Right in the middle of town, but with the threat out there, I'm not endangering innocent Osram lives. I'm going to clear out the bristlebacks. And when I'm done, this valley is going to get moving. If that's what it takes. Until then, I'll keep looking after the safety of these good folk. Just be ready to blow the whistle. Better see what that Karja Magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Still here, I see. You said you founded Chain Scrape. Somehow I doubt that. Practically founded, I said. I alone saw its potential when it was just a smattering of tents in barren light shadow. I invested in the mine, convinced some friends back home to do the same, and here we are. You could say Chain Scrape is what it is thanks to me. Oh, so you're not just standing around and profiting off everyone else? Not at all. 
sure, I make a little return on my investment here and there, but my main priority, as it was from the beginning, is to look after the well-being of these honest, working Osram. I have other places to be. <laughs> By all means, don't let me stop you. Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure all once bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the Daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess, because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but 
chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. And with the bristlebacks bringing work in the valley to a halt, Alvunt has plenty of time to pick at barely healed wounds. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Ulvind blasting hot air all the time? Ulvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> oh, I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer, said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside. He took off and ran all the way here. Good place to start looking, then. If you learn the truth, maybe Ulvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. my stash when I need it. Looks like some sort of quarry. 
Hey girl, stay back. It's too dangerous. These machines are made. I'm not going to be able to do Corey's safe. what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people, but we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work, but chain scrapes whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olven holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a dawn before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least, not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today.
Let's do it. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're a vanguard. Well, here to escort Vadisa delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. <laughs> You know where I can find Erend? Captain went chasing after more bristlebacks further west. Just follow the sound of cursing and you'll find them. Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy. Something else? I need to go. Of course.
packs full, but my stash has room. Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. <laughs> Dead bristleback. Out of Go check it out. off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. Okay, let's see where this leads. smoke from deeper in the mine. An explosion? Bristlebacks. So they did come through here. They must have gotten trapped. I'm gonna have to take them out before I can look around.
Okay. Better take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Looks like the mine runs pretty far back. But there's a lot of blaze down there. Open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. So it's addressed to Oldland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. We must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course.
If I'm gonna find out where the bristlebacks came from, I need to head further west. Another reason to get the embassy going? So if an Osterum hammers metal in an empty forge... Ah, finally! Time to fight.
rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Group, come on! You know me. Have I ever given you anything less than perfection? this to a diary. Huh? <laughs> 
subsiding. But my stash has room. <laughs> A drawbridge might be my way across. One half of the bridge. How to drop the other side? Scanning the bridge with my focus might show me something. Attached to the bridge. There, bridge is down. must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. 
Radiant beams of the sun. And all this time, he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to part. What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvund. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ovent. All for a few extra shards. And you almost drowned your other miners. And sent that oversized tool over there to intimidate a bunch of refugees. I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The Bristlebacks, the mine, the refugees. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? Oh, <laughs> well, that would save the Crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need you! Down with all that! <laughs> 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 Mud looks good on you, Alvind. Oh, as the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, you gotta come in. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chainscrape will be better off with Petra in charge. 